I want to show you something really cool you can do with your cornstarch quicksand. But as you can see, you're going to need some other things that are here. So you'll need a small amount of the uh, cornstarch quicksand that you made before. But look what we have here. You're probably going to go to a flea market or maybe a garage sale and get an old amplifier. So an old amplifier, this is a subwoofer. You could have just the raw speaker as well. We don't want to put the cornstarch in here, so some really thin plastic will be perfect. So I want you to cover the speaker with that thin plastic like this, and then you're going to take some tape and kind of tape it down in place. And the last thing you're going to need is a tone generator. Now you can find one as a free app. And a tone generator is just what it sounds like. It creates tones or different frequencies. So if you listen to it through the speaker, you can hear a certain tone, 125 hertz or 250 hertz. What we really want to do with this experiment is we want to see how the cornstarch quicksand behaves when you get that frequency or that energy that's added to it to see if it moves in a particular way. So this is what we have to do. Everything's covered and we're ready to go. The cornstarch is going to go into the speaker. Now through trial and error, I found out that you don't need much. So this is about four ounces or maybe about 125 milliliters or so of the uh, cornstarch that you made previously. So that's gonna go right inside like this. We're gonna start playing those tones and to see how it behaves. So you're gonna have to turn it up pretty loud. And I can see the tone here is at about a thousand cycles per second. I'm gonna start moving it down. I wanna keep the volume the same. It's gonna be hard to hear me. Look at this. It's starting. Something is happening. Let me go lower. Perfect. Look at this. Look at this. You're starting to get it to resonate. It's getting the perfect frequency. We're looking for it to start to dance. Look at this, it's starting to move here. Oh, look at this. As you apply the pressure to it, that frequency, it starts to dance around. And that's how you make a cornstarch monster.